my friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 19 of vlogmas as i stated in yesterday's video i was planning to do a 24 hour readathon however i wasn't getting quite as much content as i wanted throughout the day so i'm going to do a 48 hour readathon instead and get that posted tomorrow so instead today i'm going to be opening a very exciting package that i received in the mail and that is the Lit Joy Crate Magical Edition, year 7.1. So here is what the box looks like. It's got the Deathly Hollows and the three brothers and then Death up here. This side is The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. And then a picture of Dumbledore and Grindelwald. Then on the back, we've got Harry seeing the doe patronus that leads him to the sword of godric gryffindor we've got patronus that kingsley shacklebolt sends to warn everyone about the fall of the ministry and then we've got james and lily potter's gravestone and then on the bottom we've got dobby and then the oh sorry not dobby creature and then the um locket and note that says rab so let's get on into this i've heard a lot of good positive reviews about this and i have somehow managed to not spoil myself for what's in here so i am super excited so we're gonna open her on up and here is what it looks like on top and it looks like the first thing is a blanket so let's open it up unfold it I think it's a map of all the places that they traveled in this book, in Deathly Hallows. I don't even know how to show this, but I'll just like slowly guide it up. But like we've got Azkaban up here, then um, Hogwarts, and there's the Bobaton carriage, the Hogwarts Express railroad train. I can't even show all of this, but I love this blanket. <laughs> it's definitely a smaller blanket. It's definitely a throw blanket. Be immediately going in my book nook whenever I create that. <laughs> all right, next thing I'm pulling out is a little pouch and it's got Hedwig on it. Ooh. <laughs> it is a Hedwig ornament. Look how precious, ah, oh, so cute. And next thing I'm pulling out is a campfire mug. And this is perfect because it's the trio, the golden trio camping. So what better way to show off the camping than with a campfire mug? <laughs> it says worst camping trip ever on the mug. This is so cute. I also really love the artwork on this. Next thing I'm pulling out is in a pouch. And it looks like it might be Hermione's bag. It's supposed to be Hermione's like bottomless bag. So it looks small and then you like kind of pull it and it opens up really big. So it kind of simulates bottomless. So very cute. Next thing I'm pulling out looks like a pillowcase or tapestry maybe. So we've got, yeah, I think it's a pillowcase. It says, let us step into the night and pursue that flighty temptress adventure and then it's got like the forest and hogwarts in the background and a unicorn and a centaur and a thestral at the bottom very cute and will also go in my book nook next i'm pulling out a pair of socks so let's see what these look like these are adorable so it says keep off the dirigible plums which is a luna lovegood kind of reference because that is a sign at her house and I will definitely be wearing these in a future Luna Lovegood cosplay. Next, I'm pulling out maybe a candle. So it looks like a candle. Let's smell it. Smells really good. I couldn't tell you what the smell is. It smells good. But this is the Deluminator. It's cool that it's got like the flip kind of lid, like the Deluminator. Yeah, I like that. And then down inside is just some sparkles. Very cute. And here is the uh, artwork on the candle. Next, I'm pulling out a pin. This is really, really cool. So it says, 
It's a snitch pin, and on the card it says, Herein is set forth the last will and testament of Albus Percival Wolfric Bryan Dumbledore. So I'll open it up here. And then just with the way this pin looks, it looks like it's a moving piece right here. So I bet if we open it, it because like right here it says, I open at the close. I don't know if you can see that. But I bet if we move it, it'll have the resurrection stone in it. So let's see. It's really hard to move, but yes, the resurrection stone is inside the snitch. That is really cool. Next thing I'm pulling out is a pin. And it's the scene with the doe with the sword of Godric Gryffindor kind of down in the lake. Very cool. And next I am pulling out... Oh, I think this is a puzzle maybe. Yeah, 250 piece puzzle. And it looks like it's Godric's Hollow. That's a really pretty puzzle and it would be really pretty to put together and then glue and then hang up somehow. Very cool. Next, I'm pulling out a notebook and it says The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore by Rita Skeeter. So I think this is just a notebook. It's just a notebook, but that's really cool looking. Like a silhouette of the Hogwarts landscape. But still a really cool looking notebook. And I can use my pen in it. Next, I'm pulling out... Oh, the... Uh, Book sleeve. This is supposed to resemble or be inspired by the Tales of Beetle the Bard, obviously, because it says Tales of Beetle the Bard on it. But it is really pretty, really nice quality, and I will definitely be using this very soon because I'm going on a trip out of the country and I need to protect my books that I take with me. Next, I got, oh, yeah, the Patronus card. You had to do some sort of like post it on. Twitter or Instagram somehow and then you got the card so I did get the Patronus card it's really really cool looking it's got all three of the golden trio and then their Patronus is kind of going up in the air and speaking of cards here is the rest of the deck and I honestly don't know what characters these are they did a spoiler for who the characters would be for the year 6 box but I don't know if I ever saw one for the year 7.1 so let's find out who we got Arthur and Molly Weasley. Very cute. What a cute couple, am I right? Next we have Ron, Ronald Billis Weasley. Next we have Hermione. Wow, she is gorgeous. Do you see that? Wow. That's probably my favorite one right there. Then we have Hagrid! Okay, I lied. Hagrid's the best. And he's got Norbert! Look! <laughs> and then last but not least, we have Hedwig! Aww! Look how beautiful she is. And these are like really nice quality. They feel different than the other cards. They're very like matte and they feel really nice. I don't know. Next, we have the magnetic bookmarks. These are so freaking cute. At least the, the specific one. So we've got um, Lucius Malfoy in his Death Eater mask. Then we have Dolores Umbridge's uh, Ministry door with Mad-Eye Moody's eyeball in it. And then we have the best one, Hagrid and Harry in the motorbike. Ah, I love it. Look how freaking cute. My new favorite out of all of them that have come out so far. And then we've got some sort of envelope with a seal. So let's see what we got this time. Maybe an invitation to um, Fleur and Bill's wedding. Let's see. Yes, so Mr. and Mrs. Weasley request the honor of your presence at the marriage of Fleur Isabel Delacour to their son, William Arthur Weasley. Friday the 1st of August 1997 at 6 o'clock, the borough, Devon, England. That's so cute. Invitation to the wedding. And then the last thing I think is just the spoiler card. So let's go through and find out who made each thing. Oh, so it's supposed to be like the last will and testament of Dumbledore. So the Deluminator, gotta find everything again. The Deluminator candle was brought to you by Say Anything Studio. The book sleeve for Tales of Beetle the Bard was brought to you by Bookbow. 
The Golden Snitch enamel pen was brought to you by Dust and Pages, Ruthie Rhodes. The Gryffindor Sword floating pen was brought to you as a LitJoy exclusive. The Dumbledore textbook notebook was brought to you by Holly Dunn Design. The Godric's Hollow Puzzle was brought to you by Lindsay Holiday at Web and Moss. Dirigible Plum Socks were brought to you by Scott Clausen. The Beaded Bag was brought to you as a LitJoy exclusive. The World's Worst Camping Trip Mug was brought to you by Ting X. The Cutest Little Magnetic Bookmarks were brought to you as a LitJoy exclusive. The blanket was brought to you by Melody Howe. The pillowcase was brought to you by Sweet Sequels. The headwig ornament was brought to you as a LitJoy exclusive. The invitations were also a LitJoy exclusive. And then the cards were created by Tamar Vashades at Niru Sky. So this was an amazing box. I love the way that they really take the items and turn them into useful items that you can use or something that's decorative. But I loved everything in here. I really, really loved the blanket and the mug and the cards and the snitch pin. I just, I loved it all. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so <laughs> the only thing that I'm kind of on the edge about is Hermione's beaded bag. Um, I might just keep small things in here, maybe some like Harry Potter mini Funkos or something. I don't know what to put in here, and I have so many bags already, and I'll just have to see how other people are using it or displaying it and then maybe go from there, but it's a really, really cool item. But wow, so excited for your 7.2 as well. This was amazing. And I do have one last unboxing before we go. So here is my advent calendar as I've been doing every day. And today is day 19. So let's see who we got. We're on the last row. Can't believe it's that close to Christmas already. And we have Neville. Here is Neville and his dress robe looking very, very adorable, and I just love Neville. I know Hermione will be in one of these, but I really don't know who the other ones are going to be, so I'm excited. But that was it for today's video. I'm gonna go continue working on what was a 24 hour readathon and is now a 48 hour readathon, and I will check in with you guys later tonight slash tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will check in with you tomorrow. Bye, friends.